वेलकम टू पल पल जी के इकोनॉमी बेट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर टेकिंग अप बजटरी टर्म्स रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर एंड कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर व्हेन वी से बजट और द फिजिकल पॉलिसी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इन सिंपल टर्म्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एक्सपेंडिचर साइड एंड द रिसिप्ट साइड ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट दैट इज हाउ मच एंड फ्रॉम वेयर डज द गवर्नमेंट रिसीव द रिसिप्ट एंड देन हाउ डज एंड हाउ मच इट मेक्स द एक्सपेंडिचर now this expenditure and receipts it can again be classified into revenue expenditure and capital expenditure and revenue receipt and capital receipt so in this session we are taking up revenue expenditure and capital expenditure so let's see how is capital expenditure different from revenue expenditure any expenditure that either creates an asset or reduces liability is known as capital expenditure and if the expenditure neither creates an asset nor it reduces a liability then it is known as revenue expenditure so basically revenue expenditure is for running the day to day requirements of government departments and also for its maintenance whereas capital expenditure it results in the creation of assets and usually it's a long period expenditure now let's see the items listed under each of these expenditure under revenue expenditure we have interest payments that is when the central government uh, is paying back the interest on the loan which is it has taken then uh, it is not resulting in uh, the creation of any asset or the reduction of any liability so it comes under revenue expenditure please note here that uh, when the government actually pays back the loan the principal amount then it results in the reduction in the liability of the government then paying back of loan comes under capital expenditure but when we are talking about the interest on the loans then it comes under the revenue expenditure the next item under revenue expenditure is subsidies so the major subsidies include food subsidy subsidy on uh, fertilizers and then on petroleum although uh, the subsidy has been reduced uh, on uh, fertilizers and petroleum in the recent times but because of the food subsidy the overall subsidy has seen an increase also we can note that uh, subsidies are the current expenditures and it does not result in the creation of any assets that is why the subsidies comes under the revenue expenditure next one is the salaries of the government employees and the constitutional functionaries so these are uh, the day to day expenses of the government to keep the government machinery running and that's why it comes under the revenue expenditure also with the seventh pay commission the salaries component of revenue expenditure has shown an increase another major component of revenue expenditure is the pensions that the government pays to its employees next one is the grants given by the central government to the state governments and the union territories so basically all these grants are considered under revenue expenditure only but a part of these grants is also used for the capital creation so we have these two terms adjusted revenue expenditure and adjusted capital expenditure so whenever the grants is used for capital creation that grant when it is subtracted from the revenue expenditure and it is added in the capital expenditure then we get these two terms adjusted values of revenue expenditure and adjusted value of the capital expenditure but uh, please note here that in general we consider grants as the part of revenue expenditure next one under revenue expenditure are the expenses on education health services rural development and on the other government sponsored schemes it includes all the short term expenditures like expenses on medicines doctors on uh, teachers on mid day meal schemes if government is doing some expenditure on some maternity benefits that it is providing so all the short term current expenditures are covered under the revenue expenditure the same item uh, that is the expenses on education health services it can also come under capital expenditure if it is actually resulting in the creation of capital assets like expenditure on building uh, rural roads power plants schools health services etc then uh, the assets are also created when the government makes expenditure on the purchase of land buildings or machinery and so this also comes under the capital expenditure these are incurred on the long term developmental programs and they add to the capital stock of the country and they help in improving the overall capacity or the productivity of the economy 
then under capital expenditure we also have the loans which the central government it gives to the state governments then foreign governments and public sector companies so in a way assert is created for the government and so it comes under the capital expenditure then we also have investment in shares by the government which comes under the capital expenditure so basically from uh, this section the questions that can be expected are very direct questions like uh, interest payment comes under revenue expenditure or capital expenditure so which item comes under which part of the expenditure such kind of questions can be expected before we conclude we'll see two more terms plan expenditure and non plan expenditure although in 2017-18 union budget that was presented in uh, march 2017 the government has scrapped or we can say done away with the distinction between plan and non plan expenditure still uh, we'll just see what does it uh, meant actually so whatever expenditure that was planned under the five year plans that came under the plan expenditure now in 2014 uh, the planning commission was replaced by niti aayog so that uh, expenditure that was planned for the five year plans it came under plan expenditure and anything uh, apart from the plan expenditure was included in the non plan expenditure so non plan uh, expenditure actually included uh, items like uh, expenditure on defense loans to public enterprises uh, interest payments uh, subsidies pension payments etc so non plan expenditure used to form a big uh, chunk of the total expenditure of the government and it used to create unnecessary confusions so uh, this distinction has been done away with and we should also know that uh, uh, both uh, capital expenditure and uh, revenue expenditure it came under plan expenditure as well as under non plan expenditure so now we are left with a simple classification of capital expenditure and revenue expenditure so that was all for today's session i hope you have liked it for more videos please subscribe to my youtube channel palpal gk and uh, you can also visit our website and like us at facebook have a very nice day thank you very much